I go to the outer edge. Oh, I feel a little thunk. I'm feeling some heat feedback. A thunk to crouch. A thunk to stand up. A thunk, to, a thunk, 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 a thunk, a thunk. All right. So, I don't really have any idea what to even call this one. It's, uh, uh, improving and iterating on Menant's Edge Tap Umbrella Mouse Transition. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to be a mouthful. So, there's a new, uh, new patch for Star Citizen, just a little context. Yeah, so I'm digging back into it, cleaning up the profile I had, just combing through it, you know, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't. And one thing that always drove me a little, well, let's, uh, yeah, make that bigger. So one thing that always frustrated me a little bit with this was, so this has, you know, like the edge, the edge gives you a full analog stick. All right, well, let me show you a little bit easier to see. Let's go. Woo! So I have like, you know, it's a full analog stick on that outer edge. Inside circle, about to like right here. Yeah, like that's the transition. So I have this circle. It'll take you to a mouse pad. The outside is joystick move, which works fine. So you can see what I, what I have going on here. Joystick move, inner circle, which is represented, you know, this. When your thumb touches here, it'll switch it so the entire pad is a mouse. When you're on that outer edge, you get a full joystick move full uh, right analog stick. Now the only issue with this is the haptics, and this was driving me a little crazy. So it's kind of a... This all basically stems from a limitation to the way Joystick Move handles haptics. So I have low, medium, high. I don't have activator... You know, just use the activator uh, like... I don't know what the hell is it even called. Yeah, you don't get the use activator settings option for a joystick move. So, what that means is, if I put this to medium, I have my inner circle turned off. It doesn't matter, it's ignoring that. So it's putting medium haptics on this whole thing. And what is happening in practice is every time, every time my thumb touches this, I am feeling that medium haptic thunk to transition over to the mouse, like every single time. And it, it drives me, it, it's maybe it's, this is just a total personal preference thing, but that it was driving me insane. I don't like feeling that little thump every single time, I just want it to switch to the mouse. And, uh... So, you know, whatever, I shipped this with... I just kept these off, because, like, whatever. You're just... I can't figure out a decent way to do it, so I'll leave it off. And it still works, you just don't get any feedback. Which is a little bit of a bummer, especially in... There. For the first-person stuff, because I have up as jump. But, what I did, so I started rebuilding this, and I have, uh, da, da, well, even this just, <laughs> so, you can see what ends up happening, like, you end up getting a lot of profiles for, you know, as games get updated, so alright, here we have, you know, I'm working on it, it's tweaked and cleaned up. So what I did for this one is I basically made this because when it's the direction pad, I do have more control over the haptics, though that I didn't even actually need it. For this one, I just turn it off. So I put haptics off on this because this basically, like, okay, the default layer is just the springboard. 
it is just going to handle the input and figure out are you on the inside or are you on the outside everything on the outside will be a start press go do that joystick move everything on the middle will be go to the uh, mouse layer so I have you know default layer springboard outer edge will be a mouse with a medium haptics or inner edge I'm sorry outer edge right pad analog stick with a very you know re release press to remove it and I made that you know as large basically as big as a you know saucer plate over the joystick move as I could so you can see you know I have a dead zone for the joystick because really it's like this edge here is where you activate the joystick move and then this whole thing is the release press to remove it I feel no haptic thunk when I'm doing this until I start moving my thumb because that's a medium haptic on the mouse but, oh that <laughs> immediately feels so much better I go to the outer edge oh I feel a little thunk Feeling some heat feedback, a thunk to crouch, a thunk to stand up, a thunk, to, a thunk, 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 a thunk, a thunk. <laughs> Left and right would be, uh, well, I guess I can show it down here. Lean. Yeah, thunk, thunk. It's right about here. And then as long as I keep my thumb on this, I'm still in the full joystick move. And I'm feeling the full range of the haptics. And that's pretty much it. It was just, um... Like I said, I don't even really know what to call this. I just kind of wanted to... Make a little vid and share that. Just more as an example of, I guess... Be stubborn and determined. Like, keep working at it, and you can probably figure out something. Like, this feels so much better to me, because now I have... I'm not feeling... Right here, I am not feeling a thunk. Which I get... I Just as an aside, apparently... I don't know. I call the haptic feedback. It's thunk. Thunk-a-thunk. <laughs> I don't know. It's maybe becoming a little bit of a joke. Like, people are pointing out that I say thunk a lot. Maybe it's from uh, aspirations of wanting to be a comic book artist as a kid. I'm thinking, like, kapow. Thunk. But yeah, it makes it feel a lot better. And I don't... I'm not noticing any input lag between the transitions. I was a little concerned about that. Just because I'm, you know, now applying default springboard with either two options, constantly switching between those three. But yeah, it's it's feeling it's feeling pretty consistent and it's working out pretty well. I do sometimes, like, just I've learned in the past to give a little bit of a fire start delay to the release layer just as especially when layers are switching back and forth really fast because sometimes the transition will happen so fast that the layer can get stuck so that i've covered that in videos before with um melee in battlefield 5 like fire start and end press delays but yeah that's that is pretty much it i just wanted to share that because this feels so much better now. I get haptic feedback on the edges. No haptic feedback in the center until I start moving, which is not possible when you're using joystick. It, I guess this really only applies to joystick move. It's just as a current limitation that you can't give the edge binding its own activator setting whatever the joystick move is, is going to take it over because we don't have that option. 
And it was more one of those things like, I've been asking for that for a long time. Uh, whatever, I feel like... I don't know what their priorities are, but I'm just gonna figure out my own solution. And this is working out pretty darn well. So, alright, that is it. Way more unfocused and rambly than usual, which is kind of a testament for me. You may not have even thought a thing was possible. Oh, but it is. Woo! <laughs> Yay! But alright, that is all I got. I gotta get back into this. Keep testing, tweaking, iterating, polishing. Because they made a couple of changes, and I'm pretty excited. Oh yeah, just, um... As a... Star Citizen thing, we now have... I hold this in. Hey, look at that. There's a free look. Free look camera, that is new, which is pretty cool. That was really the main reason I had to tweak this around some. So, Alright, that's all I got. I will see you around. I feel like she is everybody listening to me rambling right now. Because I just keep on going. Get to the point. <laughs>